Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the Beast and Exploration DLC for Battle Brothers, picking up right where we left off in the last video, in the middle of a battle that is going to be a battle of attrition, for sure, as we try and get in here and do our damage. Has this guy gone? Yeah, yeah, he has. I want to poke this guy down. What I might be able to do is have this guy come up, shove this guy back with the shield. And then have the other guy stand on top of the corpse. And that might be a really weird way of doing it, though. I also don't know exactly what direction he's going to go in if I poke him like that. Nah, that didn't work. That sucks. And turn. And turn. I could put the dog out and try and get it to do stuff. I'm just a little worried with how many enemies there are that that dog is going to go down. But it might need be need to do. It might be what we need to do just to try and get it to not be able to eat that. Like maybe if it gets. Oh, well, that pisses me off. I knew the dog would do that, too. I knew it. <laughs> now we might be able to get it freaking out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, if we're lucky, the corpse... Ah, uh, uh, no. It's gonna eat it. Damn it. And this guy's back up, too. Well, that's unfortunate. So I just wanna... There we go. Every head we chop off, that's that's one that's not coming back. Sure, we'll get a dog in there. Okay, I have to get in here to stop this thing from getting in into these corpses, so. Right, let's try and finish this guy off. Good. Finish this one off. And then move forward. Try and stop the uh, thing from eating any of the corpses. All right, reload. Shoot this one down. Step up. Poke. It's the highest level that's the worst for these guys. Come on, you can do it. Oh, good, we got it to run. We still have to finish it, though. Most of them are up here, so if we can take care of that, that'd be good. But you have to watch the corpses. All right, I'm gonna step down and chop. That was a high chance of succeeding, and I failed. Um, get that one, and then poke there. Okay, we want to take this guy out. That's no longer our problem. Um, we do not have an angle here, so I'm going to wait. Are you tired? 
I mean, we need to start moving to get a better position, so that's fine. Uh, we've got the numbers on our side now, so that's good. Let's move in here. Fuck this guy. Well, in theory, we were going to... Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, we only have zombies to worry about now. Well, I say that. We've got this guy up here. Uh, honestly, this guy doesn't have really anywhere to go, so we could step up here and wait for him. Getting pretty fatigued. That's the that's the real hazard of fighting undead like this. Fortunately, I don't have a shot, so I'm just gonna have to end turn. We're stamping on the corpse, so the one can't eat it. Go after the... Excellent. I mean, I could chop its head off, but what good was that going to do me? We'll chop that one's head off instead. Uh, unfortunately, we're kind of bound in here. Let's, uh, let's actually recover. I don't use that skill enough, I don't think. Yeah, we got a bottleneck up here, so uh, we're going to have to take that a little at a time. Now I'm just going to enter. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, the dog was able to avoid. That's good. Now this guy got him up in my face. But thank you. Uh, then we'll put the dog out in front of me. Um, I'm going to hold for now. Which one's closer to going down? This one? Alright, we're getting there. There's only six of them left. Still can't really get in. I'm gonna hold, in case something happens. Just move to here and end turn. We can move in here. Alright, let's move down. All right, move in. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to attack this turn. Really, I don't know if we even got hit this time. Just a matter of... Uh... Now, if these guys raise up, that's going to be a problem for me. I'm probably not going to have the fatigue, so we're just going to have to rest. And let's go for the decapitate. There we go. Another one we don't have to worry about. I guess I could move here to try and help out here. And I still don't have a move here. I guess if I move to the, this spot, we can eventually get down here. Okay, it's going to flee. So that's the last of those guys we have to worry about. Um, attack here. Okay, that's gonna be it. Shoot arrows down. Okay, don't have enough fatigue to do anything else. All right, put this one down. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna end. I'll wait. I don't know really what I'm gonna do necessarily just yet. So I'm gonna attack here first. An attack here. Okay, excellent. Uh, move down this way in case we need to fight here. See if we can knock this one down. This might do it if we can get the attacks to land. Okay, good. And turn. Because we can start moving this way. Move up, shoot our crossbow, uh, and turn. All right, so it's going to come down to these two guys here. So hopefully we can get the kill. There we go. So that was a long, drawn-out fight. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get any level. Oh, no, we did get one. We did get a level up. 
We really didn't get that much stuff, all things considered. But hey, get some gold. That's not too bad. The evil of the place has been put to rest. Your next target awaits. Okay. So before we get going, we definitely need to go in and take a look at this level up. So... Brawny is more than likely what we're going to take. Let's see what else we can get here. So I'm definitely going to take this plus three. Uh, I'm thinking the resolve, which we will need. Then maybe a little bit more defense. And then I'll take the brawny ability. And then in my stash, uh, you're going to have the fatigue to do this, perhaps. Uh, not quite. All right, for now, you're just going to carry a normal shield. But I would like to get you that kite shield, because it seems like the enemy has a habit of making a beeline for that guy and, and hitting him. So I'd like to improve that. Obviously, I'd like to improve his armor as well. Okay. Well, uh, I think we should probably stop at this town. So let's uh, start heading over there. Sell off the goods that we got. Buy any food we may need. We're not in a desperate situation for food, but it'd be helpful to get some. Let me just double check. That was the only level up I needed to do. All right, yeah, we're good. We've been pretty... Doing pretty well here, conserving our resources. Didn't really need the holy water for that fight, so I saved it. Are some undead tracks, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Especially as we'd have to go out of our way to do that. Alright, let's stop in here. Hmm, okay. So things are not going to sell well here. But well, we may be able to sell some of the things we got. Yeah. Prices are not good here. I want to get rid of some of this stuff just to get it off my inventory, so... We will sell all this stuff. Do we want to keep this? I don't think so. I think we have a couple of those. And we're not really using them anymore, so i get rid of that. Okay. And food is being sold at bad prices, unfortunately. We have some wood, which we could sell at that one place that's trying to rebuild, but uh, again, prices are bad here. All right. Alright, so how do we want to get to there? I think we just go over over ground here. Over land. Uh we're fully recovered as far as injuries go. That's nice. We just need to work to get my men more upgraded, really. Now I'm hoping this fight's not gonna be in the swamps. It doesn't look like it's going to be. But we'll need to be careful. I don't think there's a quicker way other than to trudge through the swamps here. Which could be dangerous tonight. Fortunately, this gives us time to repair our equipment. I might even stop at some point to make sure our equipment is nice and repaired. The good thing is we haven't really explored over here, so we might find some cool things. Who knows? Did I get the musical cue for an enemy? Might have just been my imagination. Okay, looks like we've got an opening here. I'm going to do a little bit of exploration on this little peninsula. Ah, it looks like it juts out quite a bit, huh? Give my men some opportunity to repair their goods, because, uh, I don't know, it looks like we are pretty much repaired up. Okay. Let's get over there. Do we have any idea what we're fighting? Hmm. 
Nope. Oh, the Walking Dead greet you one by one. A series of easily dispatched breadcrumbs leading the curse straight to its target. You should prepare for a fight because soon you'll have the whole loaf on your plate. All right, let's go. Oh, no. Not a necromancer. This is going to make this fight tough. All right. Not a fan of the terrain here. I mean, we kind of have a high ground here. There's no doubt about that. But what's going to happen here is the Necromancer is going to use their power to make one of the guys have a lot of action points and get up in my face. So I feel like I have to come forward and use my spear wall to try and keep it off me. And that's going to fatigue me quite a bit. It's going to be that guy. So here we're just kind of coming to make sure that they have to go up the high ground to meet us. Um, I really don't want this guy to be there, though, do I? Let's have him hold. I switch to javelin, but I, I will also hold with this guy. Come up, spear all, and and turn. Come up, spear all, and turn. Move here. Hold. Man, I may be overdoing it. This guy may not be able to get in it. Oh. Don't I feel silly? There's only 15 of them, so that's good. Well, the necrom Necromancer will be able to raise them at a, at a very high rate, so that, that's a problem. And this guy will be a nightmare if he gets in there and gets those bonus action points. Alright, so we're going to move forward. And we're just going to poke somebody that has decent armor, like this guy here. In turn. We'll probably have to use our dogs here at some point. Just hit the same guy. Alright, so I, I don't feel like I should go here. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not sure what else to do. You know what? We're going to go for it. It's probably dumb, but... Oh, well. Nice throw. Let's go here. Okay. And turn. We're going to wait. Wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Alright, so that guy's gonna be up in my face, uh, attacking. Well, we can put the spear wall up and try and stop him. Alright, he comes. Good, we got him off of us. So not likely gonna have enough action points to really do anything with that. Let's continue to hold. So they're close enough to hit the spear wall now. I had one turn where I had a spear wall where I really didn't need it. Alright, so we're going to have to knock that guy off. Otherwise the spear walls will crumble. Spear wall. 
And I'm going to hold, but this is a good point to go ahead and wrap up the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.